Hey y'all, I'm Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another Pandora video. So today I'm very excited because I have a little happy mail. So Pandora with their Valentine's Day release also came out with several Tinkerbell charms, as you know. So these are Disney charms. They came out with an entire limited edition collector's box that had five items three charms, a ring, and a bracelet. And I wanted it so bad, but it dropped and I did not get paid for several days. And by the time I got paid and went to see if it's still available, it had sold out. They are very um, quick to go, these limited edition boxes. I know they've done a couple other ones and they're always very quick, so. That's all right. The The charms in that box, the pieces in that box, um, were all the same price that you can purchase them individually. However, if you bought them in the box, you got the awesome box. I will put a picture up of said awesome box. So because um, the box was not available, I decided I would be good and I only bought two of the charms instead of all three of the charms, the ring and the bracelet. While I would like all five pieces, they were not all must-haves for me. They are all things I would like to pick up eventually if I have the um, time money, time and money. So we're gonna go ahead and get started opening this box. I went ahead and just uh, kinda got everything started because I know I don't know about y'all, but I don't like watching people actually open things on here. Like, it seems to take forever. So I just got everything to the point where we can actually look at it and we're going to see how it all looks. I'm pretty excited. Um, Tinkerbell is one of my favorites. I've grabbed a few of my pieces here. Um, my fairy garden bracelet that has Tinkerbell's dress on it and a space holder where eventually I'm going to get her slipper my new fairy garden bracelet because I had to have this butterfly um, clasp. This is last year's spring release and it has a few fairies on it and butterflies. So I thought maybe Tink would look good on here. Um, my black and gold bracelet, this has um, Harry Potter, Sailor Moon, Toothless, Pokemon, Star Wars. It's just kind of all entertainment kind of things that I love. And so one of them I think is going to end up on here for sure. I bought it specifically to go on here. And then I just grabbed an open, open bangle. A lot of times I keep this open specifically to wear single charms on it. I am thinking that eventually Tink may end up on the new Fairy Garden bracelet, but I don't think she's going to work on here yet. And in the meantime, I think she would look really cute by herself stacked with my full bracelet. So that's kind of my thought process. We're gonna go ahead and open these. I will show you detailed shots up close and then we will um, put them on the bracelets and see what we think. Get some styling options because that's kind of the whole point of opening the bracelets and the beads and seeing what they look like in real life. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm very excited. I, I love Tinkerbell. I literally have a Tinkerbell figurine sitting across the way. My cats are Tiger Lily and Tinkerbell. So, you know, slightly obsessed. To be fair, I named the cats when I was 16. And they are not with us any longer, but that's a whole other thing. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with Pandora. All right, so. First things first, let's get into this box. So it usually just has, yep, our box with our charms and then my receipt and info. This is usually like how to buy more stuff and warranty and product care. So there you go. Very important, important, important. I always keep all my receipts because just in case you need to return something that is important. So let's go ahead and open the box and they have everything in these little baggies. 
So here's the first charm, which is the Tinkerbell on a thimble. Ooh, we're gonna need scissors. All right, let me go ahead and get these out of the bags and I'll be right back. Ta-da! Doesn't it totally look like it would fit on my finger? It's a thimble, y'all, a thimble. Okay, let's zoom you in. Oh, the detail on this is ridiculous. She is sassy. She is pouting. Look at those wings. She's got the bun. Oh, she's got all the stars. We've even got the little like thimble indentions to help with your needles. And what y'all might not know is that my mom loves sewing. She made a lot of my clothes growing up. She made a lot of her own clothes. She was one of six kids, and so if she wanted more than like one outfit a year, she had to make them. And so that's just how it always was, and she made a lot of my clothes, and not everyday clothes, but if I wanted a special dress and we couldn't find it, mom would just make it. She made all our Halloween costumes. There's our Hallmarks, Pandora, Disney guys and I learned to sew from a very little age because of it she is so cute Let's see is there anything on the sides like hallmark wise I don't think so I think it's all on the bottom yeah all on the bottom but look at that star going around and the yellow CZs Oh, there's the last hallmark inside. I knew it was somewhere. S925ALE. Right up the barrel. Nice. Oh, she's so pretty. I don't know, like I said, if I'm going to want her to be an individual little baby forever, but I do think for a while I'm just going to want her on her own because she's so cute. All right, so the second charm I picked up is the other Tinkerbell charm. The third charm, if you haven't seen it, is a ship, Peter Pan ship. So this one also has a crazy amount of details, but it has Tinkerbell in the shine plated gold, which you guys know I'm not a huge fan of gold. I only have the one bracelet with gold on it, but this charm fits on that bracelet so there you go there's the back layer it's got the clouds and the moon and the stars she's going through the night sky oh that's so cute All right, let's look at the sides pandora s925 ale and disney love it let's look at the back And it says, I believe in berries. Oh, that's pretty. I love that even the back is pretty. Like there's still the little stars and all the cutouts. It's It looks pretty from literally both sides. And they do look really pretty together. And eventually I would like to have the ship to go on the other side and maybe put them all together or maybe just put the ship and Tinkerbell together and keep this one on my gold bracelet. But, you know, we'll see. For now, let's go ahead and put this one on my gold bracelet. So if you haven't seen it before, I have a whole video on it. I'll link it down below. But this is one of my Pandora leathers. It is the only bracelet that I have non Pandora pieces on. I don't mind non Pandora pieces on leathers because they're not going to get stuck or caught the same way. So my goal is that I think she is going to look super cute opposite my black Sailor Moon cat with the half moon. I think that 
the half moon of the sailor moon and the like i just think they complement each other so i'm going to put one probably switch this one over here move this guy down because i need another dangle on the end and then put sweet little tink right here so give me a second to switch that out because i'm gonna have to basically take everything off Okay, I love it. She's so cute. And I know this is a lot of dangles, but this is the one bracelet where I really like the overlapping dangles. I don't know why they make me happy. I like it. I'm going to keep adding dangles to it as they come out. So we've got little Tink in front of the snitch. We've got our time turner and <laughs> sweet little Sailor Moon kitty, Luna. I do love having a dangle on this side. It bothered me to have them uneven. So if you want to see the full breakdown of this entire bracelet minus my new Tinkerbell charm, you can go check out that link. But for now, I think she looks pretty darn good here. All right, on to the next one. So have a full overview of this bracelet as well but this is my um looking for the end here it is fairy garden bracelet and it is the most full bracelet i own i think it's a little too full and so i'm trying to figure out how to rectify that and it might be taking some things off but i have quite a few things on it including Tinkerbell's dress and I love the green paired with these Murano's the green and the purple in these works perfectly and so on this side I have here it is my Mickey Mouse dangle ears charm and that is a placeholder eventually I would really like to get Tink's shoe to go opposite it but I haven't found it yet so you know and my little firefly turns green when he glows in the dark but as you can see this bracelet is like it's wearable, but it is full and they do stretch over time. This is a fairly new bracelet to me, but I do, I, I'm going to eventually have to fix this in some way because I don't want the bracelet to snap. I'm not sure what that means yet, but there's no room on that bracelet for Tink. And I might put her on here eventually. Like I said, I've got the butterfly. I've got my butterfly here. I've got my fairy and my little frog prints, and I've got my butterfly wings, which usually go on either side of this butterfly, but I was playing around with the idea of them going on either side of this butterfly. Still don't know, but I was playing around with the idea of putting Tink on one side of this butterfly and the ship on the other side, which could work. I do like the two fairies. But right now, I don't like it enough. So I think we're just going to put her on her own bangle. There we go. I think she is more than pretty enough to stand by herself. And I think especially if we stack her with the pretty charms in this bracelet, I think that would be a really pretty stack. So for now, this is what I'm going for. Tink on her own and my fairy garden bracelet. So if you have any suggestions on what the heck to do with this, <laughs> leave them down below. I know it's going to be amazing one day, but right now it's just kind of a hot mess. And I keep playing around with it, trying to decide what else to add. Um, because I love the blue, I want to stick with the blue, but everything else I want to add on here is purples or greens, so I don't know. I do want to get the pansy, the blue pansy, but then I'm just going to have more blue. So in the meantime, we're just going to leave him in the jewelry box and worry about Tink. And if you got the limited edition box, I hate you. I don't hate you. I love you, but I want your box. Okay, bye.